Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Sizzy. Today I'm going to be showcasing two of the best free to use scripts for the Roblox game Anime Champion Simulator. But before you get into today's video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get straight into the video. So, first of all, what you guys want to do is head on over to the link in the description, which will bring you to my website sizzyscripts.com and from here you can either scroll down and this will show you the three latest scripts or if the script is not there come to the scripts page and you can search for whatever game that you're looking for now once you guys find it then just go through the steps to get the script now i am going to be updating my website and i'm going to be removing work ink so it will be easier so we've got these two lovely guis here we've got sky hub and i'm not really sure what you actually call this one so i think it's uh, the credits go to this person anyway. I'm not even gonna like try to pronounce his name or whatever But um, yeah, this will just be called anime champion simulator and this will be called sky hub So we're gonna go over this one on the left here quickly So on the main we've got collect drops Fight nearest fight nearest teleport fight random weakest first and fight random strongest first then um, spawned spirit and talent token and you can teleport to portal as well on the raids you can collect chests collect drops attack enemy weakest first or strongest first tar you can do instant start uh, tar collect chests collect drops attack enemy weakest first and strongest first hatch you can hatch one two three up to ten um orbs it says your current orb which will be the dragon orb but as you can see it will only hatch one at a time. Uh, I'm not sure if hatching 10 works. I think you actually need a game pass for that. So it's not going to work. But if you do times one hatch, then it will keep going down as you can see here. And it gives us a notification that we're getting new people here. So that works completely fine. Boss, if you want to do the boss for Yellow Force, Red Force, Blue Force, Genju, and Blizzion, uh, it gives you all the different planet names above. So Spirit Town has all the different bosses here, uh, the same as Green Planet. I'm not high enough level to actually do a boss fight, so we're not going to do that. Boss Teleport, you can also teleport to the boss as well. Well, I mean, I could do these. They're not really um, too hard to fight. <laughs> Uh, teleport, you can teleport to all the different planets, so yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. So if we do collect drops, it will collect anything that's dropped on the floor. If we do fight nearest, it should fight the nearest one. Um, I don't think this one's actually working, but if you do fight nearest teleport, then it will do that. And it will fight the nearest one on the teleport. Um, you can do fight random, weakest first as well. And that will also do that. Um, if you want to do strongest, it will do the strongest in the game, which we're not going to be able to do even a dent because we're that weak. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much everything in this uh, GUI for now. Um, we'll probably come back to it, but we're going to turn everything off just for now. Uh, we're going to bring over Skyhub here. So on the auto farm tab, which is the main one, We've got select your world, select your enemy. Um, you can do yellow force. I'll tell you combat in one, two, and three as well. Um, you can select multiple ones as well. But we're going to do yellow and red force for now. You can do auto form, uh, auto farm select. You can do no teleport, only farm and range. If you want that on, then you can. Uh, I'm not going to be doing that. Um, you can do auto load for land of ants, and then you can do your range. Uh, I'm going to leave it default as I always do and then if we do auto farm select as you can see it will auto farm down on the auto raid we've got select your world your difficulty if you want it to be a private room auto farm the raid collect chest after it finishes or you can ignore the daily chest and then you can select a time and you can leave after a certain amount of time as well and it will tell you if the raid is disabled or enabled and then tar, you can auto farm tar and collect the chest as well. So onto the misc, um, you can do auto click, auto ability, instant coin, uh, instant TP, bypass attack range, auto collect spirit and auto teleport to the spirit world if you want to do that. Uh, if you want to open eggs, you select your world, your egg, auto open egg, and you can do auto load for land of the ants as well. 
So if we come over here and turn off um, the auto farm just for now, we're going to go over to the egg and well, we don't even have to, it'll teleport us there. But as you can see, uh, if you look at the little notifications here, it does go up. Obviously it's not the fastest because I can only open one at a time. If you have a game pass, then you'll be able to open multiple at a time. Um, but that egg works fine. Um, you can limit the amount of eggs you open. So if you only want to open 100, um, just put 100 in here and do limit egg. Um, item settings, you can select a rarity and scrap that one. So if we do common and if we go in here, we can do auto scrap that. And it should auto scrap. I'm not sure if this feature actually works or not, but it should. Um, that is pretty much that. Um, yeah, so let's go on to pet. So if you want to feed your pets, you can go in here and do auto feed, select the rarity, the level cap, and then you can talent your pets as well, quirk them, uh, put essence on them, and so on. Now I don't really have uh, much things to work with, so I'm not going to be going over this uh, section much. So you can go ahead here and do it uh, from your own if you want to. It shouldn't be too much. Uh, hard work anyway you should just read it and it should you know be easy enough and then team swaps you can uh, select a team to auto farm and then uh, swap same as the raid on the tower uh, orbs and chests if you want to do that as well um, so you can go ahead and do that teleports now the teleports only really work if you've got the um, things unlocked now I don't as you can see so it's not going to let me teleport anywhere else. Um, if we go ahead and unlock a planet, then it will let us do that. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, we cannot use the teleports. Now, it's probably just easier if you're like over there and you want to teleport to a different planet. Um, but there's no really need for it. On the universe uh, settings tab, we've got rejoin. Disable the GPU, enable the GPU, hop server and FPS boost, which just makes the game run a lot more smooth. And, uh, you know, it's better for a low-end PC to probably disable the GPU or whatever. Um, well, not actually disable it, but do the FPS boost at least. And it makes your game look like complete shit, but you'll be able to play it. Settings anyway, we got the close GUI button, which is M, which I don't understand because uh, To change planets, it's M. So uh, and Then if you're on mobile, you can select this feature and you know You can do that and then you've got no slide as well um, That is pretty much everything in today's video um, Yeah, I've went over pretty much everything that I can uh, apart from like the raids and stuff which are pretty easy to set up anyway and you shouldn't you know find that too difficult so if you guys did enjoy today's video then make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye